Let's start with the freak off. How we get there? Tell them about the freak off, Diddy Jr. Diddy Jr., tell them about the freak off. Tell them about the freak off. He don't care about these kids. All he care about is doing drugs, drinking alcohol, and these hoes. That's what you care about. So let's go. Let's go. Wait a minute, not Neo getting exposed by both his ex-girlfriend and baby mama for being a baby oil king child. Get in here, cause just when we thought this Diddy saga couldn't get any worse, Neo has also been incriminated after a video went viral of his baby. Mama exposing him for being at Diddy's freak-off parties, and get this Neo, was allegedly not just blowing the backs out of women at them freak-offs. He was bending over the men too, and oiling them up with that Johnson & Johnson to make things even worse his. Girlfriend Minetta also said that Neo has been a raging freak-off addict for decades now. And that's actually why she left him. She could just never keep up to his addiction. And that's when she knew she had to clock out not only that, but his infamous polygamous relationship is just a facade to hide his love for that boy. But now, as we all know, ever since Diddy got arrested a whole lot of names have been coming up. And at this point, it's looking like everybody and their mama was at them freak off parties, including none other than Neo. This one was a little bit surprising, though, because Neo is already in a polygamous relationship, so you think he'd be satisfied with the little three-way freak-offs he'd been having with his women. But apparently that ain't enough to keep him satisfied, cause word on the street is he was also spreading cheeks at Diddy's freak-off parties, and the worst part of it all he was caught. On tape. Doing so, these rumors started going around when a video of his baby mama Shade accusing him for being a regular participant at Diddy's freak-off party started resurfacing on the internet. She even went as far as labeling Neo as Diddy Jr., Cher calling this man Diddy Jr. is crazy crazy like can y'all imagine how many times he had to attend them parties for her to be calling him. That according to Shade, Neo was not just freaking off with women, he was also diving into men, and sometimes he'd have his own private freak-offs in the houses while his kids were home. But it wasn't just the freak-offs that was going down. She said Neo and the people he was doing it with were loaded with all kinds of substances. And people believe that the substance in question was the infamous pink the Diddy was exposed to give to people at his parties. This is a special kind of CRA and apparently it gets people so high they could freak off all night without getting tired. Tell them the real you. Tell them the real you and why we're here today. Y'all, guess what? Over what? Over what? Because he want over the house while his kids is here. Why? You, this nigga has to have and, and alcohol, mushrooms, and per in the house while his kids are here. Everyone has asked him to stop, but he will not listen to nobody. This is what's going on. This is the tea. While the bitch the house i asked him not to bring no bitch in the house i even came over here to help him with these kids because he won't want to he won't watch these kids how did we get there let's let's go since we on live let's go there let's start let's start with the freak off how we get there tell him about the freak off diddy jr diddy jr tell him about the freak off tell him about the freak off tell them the truth tell these people the truth oh shut the f don't give a f none of these kids do y'all see a f picture in this house of a f kid he don't care about these kids. All he care about is doing drinking alcohol, and fuck that's what you care about. So let's go. I'm a diddy bop the f out of here. You and your freak off. You can get back to your freak off in a minute. You'll be next. You'll be next. You'll be next. You'll be next. Your stories will be coming out next. You know what the f is going on. You know, how, how was Brayden conceived? Let's let's start there. So as for that pensy. I was talking about Jaguar, right? Actually came out to explain how this works. And y'all cannot believe what she had to say. Apparently, it's a mixture of different, including Viagra, and any other substance you can think of it's supposed to help those. Take it to party and freak off for long hours without feeling a thing. And if y'all remember, it was also revealed in Diddy's indictment that these freak offs would go on for days. Well, for those of y'all wondering where they got that stamina, it was from that pink. The two, the, the two C. Yeah, the two C. That's what it got. I got no. I found out. I talked to my guy because I wanted to be informed. Because people was calling the two C. They calling it the two C. I didn't know which one it was, so I talked to my guy and my. I filled me in, and then it made perfect sense. Two C. 
Talk to him. With Jaguar. <laughs> Let's talk just <Drug> education. <laughs> one on one. So two C is the but they take the cat and cook it up. And they they fold it into the now if you don't know what cat is, cat is what they call on the street special cat. It's a veterinary to horse tranquilizer. Now, gay men have been using this for years. See, back in the day, if you went to a gay party or a gay rave, there were certain that you would always find on hand. Viagra, XC, Special K, and Now, see, the c can keep you up all night, but unfortunately, it gives you limp noodle because of what the blood flow is. So the, who wants to fuck with a half hard so that's why you had the Viagra to make sure that the, the involuntarily stays hard while you're numbing yourself with the. Now, see the caffeine. That's a horse tranquilizer, so that relaxes all your muscles. You could get by eighty um, ton gorillas. You wouldn't feel a thing. So now you is gonna stay hard. You numbed up and you high. You got the caffeine in you, so you don't feel. And then you add the, the ex to put in the feeling that you've now blocked out, and now you got a party. Freak off cocktail. Yeah. So now the two C, they done skipped. They done skipped all the steps. They condensed it. So you got the in there, and then you got the in there, and they say that some of the dealers add the ex in there. Now the Viagra, they you still gotta take that solo. But with the Tipsy, you got all of that. Well, the gay cocktail. No. Golf cocktail oh. in the one thing. And the reason why it's pink is because they put the food coloring in it. They think, um, he said he think they got it from the breaking bag. You remember yeah, how they was making them? The and they made it a special color. So they done that with the Tipsy. Wow. It's, it's the food coloring. You think that. Like, As what? if you need more. When did high not get high enough? Like, I'm trying to understand. Yeah, to the point where you have to fly it across. Like, I need that here tonight. Can you get that here? Like, no. I need that here. You got three drinks. <laughs> powerful drinks. And food coloring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. You are numb. You are wired. You pop that, that Viagra. You a fucking machine. You can't anything. You the brick wall wouldn't even feel it. But that wasn't all, y'all. Shaw also went to reveal that these freak off parties that Neo hosts in his house actually happen every day, not just a few times a week, every single day. She even went as far as telling him to come out the closet and live in his truth instead of making everybody think he's a good father. When he's actually a dead who's getting his cheeks slapped in front of his kids.